Welcome back everybody, Gaming Grandpa here. We're playing Defense Grid. The campaign is The Awakening, which is the, the primary campaign. You have to get 20 gold medals in the, all 20 missions. This is level 19, so second to last. It's called Lockdown. This one is a pain in the butt, I think. There's so many different ways that they can go, and they are coming so quick, it's not even funny. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put a gun here, a gun here, and I'm going to go with a cannon. And then I'm going to put another gun here. And I'm going to go with the cannon. Now, I want to hurry up and get a missile going as quick as I can. Because they're going to be coming. And they're going to be, you see, they're already coming. But they're going to be targeting the ground units for the majority of the time. Right now, they can still target them. So I'm going to end up putting a missile here. Just to help out. So the idea is to get them to snake around as much as possible so that way they can hit as much, take as much damage as they can with all the towers that we have. I'm not going to be upgrading at any time for quite a while just because I'm going to go with a cannon here just because it takes forever to get our defenses set up. So that's the big problem there and I'm going to be going with major mainly cannons from now on I am going to put one or two more guns later just to kind of do a quick block okay so now they're going to come this way and they're going to be forced to come down here I like to put one here just to give them a little bit more a little more distance so when I put my cannons and meteors there it knocks them out quicker kind of do it in reverse but okay now they're going to be coming that way I like to put a temporal here to slow them down from the get-go and like I said this can be played in a multitude of ways all right they're going to be going this way and I'm going to put a cannon here as soon as I get it There's a cannon there, so now they're going to have to come right this way. I'm also going to block off this one here in a minute, right there. So now they're pretty much stuck on what direction they go. All right, so they're going to come this way. I'm going to put a cannon here. Now eventually I'm going to get me up another missile over here in this direction, but not just yet. Here comes the quick suckers. Alright, so now I want to block them off here. With two cannons. So now they're kind of stuck to go that way. But once again, I'm going to put a temporal here. The resources will definitely come, so don't worry about them for now. And we'll be upgrading everything later. Like I said, the main thing is getting your defenses set. So we're going to put a temporal here. That way they have to come back that way. Now we want to put a gun here. Just, I like the gun there. Alright, so now they're coming this direction. They're coming this way. I want to put a cannon here. Of course it would take a bit for them to go. go now they're going that way I'm even going to put a cannon here later to force them to come that way but for now I'm going to put another missile and then now I can go with cannon so now they're pretty much forced to go that way and they get hit again and that's pretty much our path set so now all we're going to do is just we're going to be building meteors to help out there uh, I think I'm going to put it here instead 
and I'm going to put a meteor here. And then now we just start adding cannons for more defense. I'm going to upgrade some of the temporals for a moment, but for now I'm going to put a cannon here and a cannon here. <coughs> start upgrading. Probably going to try to slow them down first with the temporals. I'm even going to put a temporal, where was it? Here I believe. Now what you could do is put a couple commands around here in different places if you prefer. I mean it's up to you for more money. And you can put one over here too. And just start upgrading. I guess you could put one here if you wanted to to really slow them down you're going to end up with a gold medal with all the resources that you're collecting anyway so you're going to be just fine you notice I haven't really upgraded any cannons or anything like that yet I'm just mainly slowing them down and getting more money They take a lot of cores. So now they're pretty much slowed down all throughout there. You don't even really need to worry about up there if you want to know the truth about it. I'm going to put a command here just for some extra loot. <laughs> I am going to upgrade this missile. And now I'm going to start upgrading the cannons. And it really doesn't matter where you start at probably be better to do around here since that's the majority of where they're going to be located. Like I said, it really doesn't matter which way you, where you upgrade. I mean, you're going to get them all pretty much. I'm not going to make it through.
honestly, we should be good. I like to have the front ones upgraded to the max, as you can see. I guess you could put something here if you really wanted to, but there's no need. You can put something here if you want, here. You can even block them off here more if you wanted to. The missiles at yellow should be good enough. That's pretty much it. 73,000. I believe you need 66, I think it is. Oh, 69.5. So as you can see, we made it in plenty of time. That one, you can use pretty much any weapon you want. A lot of people like to put guns for like the first 10 placements just to kind of form their path and then slowly re uh, sell them and then upgrade them to cannons or meteors or different things like that. The main thing is you want to get a missile as quick as you can because by the second wave they're coming in there pretty quick and your guns are concentrating on your ground troops for the most part. So, and then I always put a second missile over there. But other than that, you pretty much can put whatever you want to. You're going to get a gold for the most part. We didn't really, I didn't really didn't save that many resources until the end. So, it still came out to a gold medal with plenty to spare. But anyhow, that's the second to last mission, Lockdown. So, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.